that? It's just like, whoops. This is why streaming is difficult. This is why what? Being a streamer is painful. And, it's... and I like it, it's just so many things to do. No, no, right? This is why I'm going. Oh no, fuck, I forgot to meet myself. Fuck, go away. Whoa. Where is Rasher's group? I'm loud on there, wow. But I'm not gonna be there for very long anyway. Yeah. I might just close. Close you, close you, close you, close you, close you. Then, uh, what else? Why not stream it? Why not stream it first? That's pretty much Dang, it. Dang, my chair is loud too. <laughs> Try not to squeak it. Okay, uh. That should be a good. You close all the things you got, chat? You yeah. need to check the volume. That should be fun. Yeah, but don't you need me to check the volume when you get in the game and stuff? Yeah, might as well. I thought that's what you wanted me to do. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, I did play this game before, but I want, I want to replay it again. Wait. Mm -hmm. Play. Oh, it went black. What the heck? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh. Start episode one. Let's do this. You should turn off your go offline on Steam or something. <sighs> on the friends. So frustrating. That black. I think it's good. Well, yeah. I'm sure other people will um, yeah. say something, hopefully. But I gotta go. I know. You know. Yeah. So. Hmm? Okay. My chair is so squeaky and I'm just such a... Ugh. Here, get up out of the chair. Um, I'll see you later. Okay? Okay. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> Catch you later. Bye bye. So, remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So, 103 with 31% humidity is... Disconnected. It's a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Up there. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Well, oh. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. 
cut me out. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Come on, Big B. Oh, I meant to say something. Uh, you stop this scare me. Why are you not walking? If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. Wow. It's as simple as that. You can't wow. send me up to live with those animals. Just fight. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? It's not my problem. You're the one risking your entire family getting shipped off. It's completely irresponsible, Toad. Big B, please. That's a no blow, mate. All this will be taken care of as soon as the witches are available to cast the spell. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Oh, thanks for that, I Big B. You're a real yeah. gentleman. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Furry prick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. Wow. Damn, son. Go, come with Teddy's off. No need to curse at me. Gosh. Cousins, I. Uh... You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Stop, okay? You're drunk. Let go. God damn you! No uh, way! Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? <clears throat> Yeah. I'll fucking kill you! All right, <laughs> wow. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, shit. Well. 
You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard! And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. <laughs> Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said oh, no. nice, or you wait out. What, Kippy? What, Kippy? What? And hi, Kippy. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? So, uh, how good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you. Why is this? Well... I want to send team speak part. Only for a little bit. Cause you, I called you, and you come to help. I can't be made. And even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. You can't be doing that. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid That's it. That's good. Yahoo! Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you. You fucking bitch. 
I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. I meant to do it. No. Ow. That looks painful. Lips are sealed. Sorry. All right, Kate, but you should give this game a try. Hey, you like my ribbon? Since you like Walking Dead. Beautiful. Thank you. we've met before we probably have we all sort of knew each other at one point or another but things change I guess I guess shit stop we don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. I say get the PS4 version, because it probably won't better for you. How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Well, it's up to you, really. I'll be fine. I really wish I could help. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. I shipped him. You I... live in the smallest apartment Shit. in the world. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around. Wolf. Yes. Get a mouse, Skippy. Get a mouse, mouse. Mouse is better than a touch pad. Bleh, touch pads are so stupid. Ship. I'm a shipping them. Ship, 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 ship. Oh. Whoa. Smoke weed every day. Every time I see a cigarette, I go smoke weed every day. Seriously.
Episode 1. Faith. Oh, I need to walk. Walk, walk, walk. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. So, where are you off to? Well, I went for a walk. I don't see what's wrong with that. Didn't say there was. It's not a big deal. Just, you know, out. For a walk. That's all. Damn it, I'm late. Well... Please, Big B. Promise ah, me you won't gotcha. tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is. Well. And it would just make my life a lot easier. What do you expect? Just Laptop is please. bad at streaming, like... Promise me? Look, whatever it is, it's between so. you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. Cause, um... I don't have time to go into it right now. Yeah. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. This is why desktop is much better, the much useful in gaming. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on.
What end I oh just grab a drink. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Damn it. Well nothing to drink. Nothing to eat. What is this? Got a smoke? I didn't mean to crack at the game. It's just... Wait, pig smoke? Thanks. Wait, how do you Couple pigs... thousand more of these? What? We'll be even on that house you owe me. How do This has gotta stop. Smoke. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Oh, I didn't mean that. Exactly. Oops. You know I'm right. Oh well. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Oh, I see what you did there. Kippy, I see what you did there. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So... Everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. No. Nope. can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Nope, you can, uh... Because Look, people are I'm stupid. not saying it's fair. I mean, people but are weird. Real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. <laughs> Shots fired. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. 
about everyone. Name one. No, no one's a Jews. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Well. Oh. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window and... I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're fucking with me. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm so oh. mean. <laughs> I hate you. I love you too. Yeah, my door. Go away, I'm trying to sleep on. Go away. Big B. Snow? Come with me. Nope. Snow. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Oh, hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. I don't trust These that guy. These walls are paper thin. Ah, but we don't trust that. We need to be Dude. careful. We'll talk outside. Cut off. Shit. Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Damn. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. 
okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Well, oh, do I don't want to play with this. Uh... Yeah. What is? symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did uh... this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Why do we feel when she killed herself? Or something? I could be wrong. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This uh, is just so surreal. This is so scary. <sighs> Um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. You should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Where are you going? Are we done? I've seen enough. But... Okay. Body. Move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Hmm. Need more to go on. Let's head to the business office. To the business office? Please. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. Yep. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Wow. 
Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Yes, ma'am. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you Oops, like. I think I put in a fight by Saturday. Oops. Fucker. Wow. Fuck you too, asshole. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Hey, Don't change the subject. Are... You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. We are kidding. Oh. We are. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Gosh, calm you tits. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Wow. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. I hate this guy. You Can would have just kill? pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Smoke Crane doesn't every like people day. smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> asshole scale. <laughs> is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Okay, we all have fun. Buffkin! Buffkin. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Well. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? This monkey looks so weird as well. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's oh, bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. 
We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yes, yeah, it was I'm about so two seconds hard. away from kicking a hole in you. Wow. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Mm. Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Yeah, that's me. Back when. Ugh. Long time ago. Well. Seen him in a while. Well, that's how you looked when we met, remember? Yeah, I remember. And him. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Beauty in happier days. Hey guys, look. It's Bill. Wait there. Not joking, that could be bad right there. And her man, Beast. And that's... Funny. Beast. Ooh. 
Well, she is from Beauty and the Beast, so... Yeah. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I was looking at this. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Well... Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. No, I didn't mean to go back in. Uh, go? There? Yes, thank you. There we go, go back. No, go back. Ah, oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Oh, oops. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. <laughs> donkey skin. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> <laughs> prefers to go by the name uh, Faith. Ass skin. Poetic? Buffkin, uh, we don't uh, need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Well... So her name is... Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Oh, let's talk to the mail. If I can, where is the mail? Mail, are you? Let me talk to you. Oh, I can't talk to the mail. I scan out. 
Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? This blah, 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 blah. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Rigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Let's go. God damn it. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, 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 it's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Yo, what was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Well, poor Toad. Whenever you're ready. My body, my body, my body is ready. Did oh. Toad say who was there? Oops. Was it the woodsman? Go get I don't some know. It's to possible. Eat. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince uh. Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Well, okay. where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Okay. So I picked last time and we last paid for, so I might let you guys pick. So where do you guys think I should go first? Toad's apartment or Lawrence's apartment? Up to you guys. X or B? Oh, I don't want to choose. Help. Save the tall. I got her apartment. wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. He'll have to. Who needs to 
needs to be the toad. The toad is not. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Lawrence, you in there? Hey, open up! It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Guess we're out of options. Chat, please. Come on, help me up. I guess afraid to see messages. I wouldn't know. Dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. The fuck? Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Oh, gotcha. That is disgusting. Sleeping pills. That doesn't really help. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. is the caliber of the gun on the floor. Hmm. I have a 
chair and it's gotta beat that one guy. Still a little sticky. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence I should know his face there are so few of us I should know his face <gasps> the hell? oh my god Bigby he's alive what? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. What? What's this about? Lawrence, what did you do? I don't know. I... Uh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably had a lung. Great. At least, that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me, without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Lawrence, I... Uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? See who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, big people will arrest them. Think about your wife.
Hey! Stay here! No! Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! It's John Cena. Kappa. Oh. Inside here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. What were you doing back there? The same thing you should be doing. Investigating. Looking for clues. The fuck you doing hiding in closets? Fuck, man. Fuck, man! I'm asking the questions. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. <laughs> the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh. <gasps> Welp. Welp. You almost looked peaceful. Welp. Welp. Yep. Welp. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad, see if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Yes, yeah, go back to Toad. Toady, Toad. Yes, back to Toad. Toad, Toad, Toad. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in a day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? The crying is real. The crying is real. <laughs> crying intensive. Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. A 
sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stinks, you know, but it's oh, nothing shit. to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. He's lying. I don't believe him. I don't believe at all. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. Nope. No need to hang around here anymore. Shut I mean, up. I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Shut up, Toad. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, 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 shut up, Toad. You always being suspicious, so shut up. I don't trust your money. Hashtag never trust a Toad. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. For Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. <sighs> Stop being suspicious. You're gonna just tell me the damn truth. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. You're in big trouble, mister. You're telling lies, bitch. I should probably get that thing fixed. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. <sighs> Fucking hell. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on, now. We're friends, right? <clears throat> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B! I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Just Make tell it. him the Is this truth. really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? He's hiding something. Either something he knows or something he's kept, but I won't play any more games with him. Dad? Oh my god. Take off your hat. Big B. 
Higby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. Well... He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. So I picked a one I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to this get a This should be a cut. TV show. He wouldn't I mean, take it. Who's coming? I would watch it. The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here with a stop. Yeah. Suit, mate. Well, I think it was fun too, actually. Left well, we'll be taking the coat Even now. If she has next I'm of kin, family, like anyone. Two. Oh, yeah. right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Die you? No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Hmm. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. No, mm. oh, fuck it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Oh, I'm man. sorry, Faith. Yeah. What could she have been sorry I for? I don't know. I haven't got no time. I haven't Maybe much Lawrence time does. to watch it, Nick. Well, it's been quite a yeah. surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap uh, if you're looking okay. for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be alright. Yeah, I've been quite my TV show, it's been missing, like... So, that's why I split do. a cab? But, I don't sure. really watch I TV as much as I used to. Anymore. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully Freaking Nickelodeon, going cool. Someone who will know where to find it. Yeah. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. If Cole was still on TV, I would probably watch it. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and you he know, was one of the last people to see Faith alive. You know, if they ever bring back the Avatar franchise, 
Getting some answers out of them will start to clear things up. Hopefully, maybe. I hope you're right. I'll watch TV Bigby? again. Just Be honest that. with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. Yeah, I has. That's but probably yeah, the best I... approach. Oh. All we want to see is the of Ben ever trying to fight Ben. That's all I want to see. This I wish there was. Oh. Sorry. I was just going to say, I had some reservations with you coming along, but uh, this hasn't been as bad as I thought it might be. I well, shipped these two. I guess that's about as close I to a compliment as two. I'd expect from you. I shipped these two. So. It's nothing. I just... Just kiss and make up already. Gosh. Seeing all this today... Fuck <gasps> oh, fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... Prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. How is Poco today? I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Turn you away. Now things are worse off uh, than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying. Oh, yeah, I start, I start to tomorrow, right so. Decision. Yeah, I mean, oh. I hope you're right. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Yeah, maybe I should. Bigby. Yeah. I um, just be oh, careful. Oh yeah! Thank you for keep, Thank you, Kippy and Ria, for the host today. Very much appreciated. The same goes for you. I will. Then my next quest starts next Wednesday, so yeah. But I'm not smart, Kappa. Oh yes, yes, get drunk, people. What do you want, Sheriff?
official Fable Town business. Oh, well, if it's official Fable Town business. <laughs> Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here, that's all. Who? I'm being nice, so try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. God, this old lady creeps me out. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? Come on. Tell me what you know. I know you're an asshole, and you're not wanted here. Just How's fire. that? It's fine. I walked into that one. Shots are being fired, man. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. That's a good question. Why would anyone eat that? Blah. A lot of stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you. And now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Yes, I want lime. Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> Ooh, shots fire. Think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is serious, Holly. Harboring a fugitive is gonna get you in as much trouble as he's in. You could lose everything. Well... Oh shit. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Oh, fuck. There he is. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. He'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. You can always come quietly. I'm not sure you knew that was an option before. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. The last fella put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. <laughs> last fella I put my hand on, 
ended up in the ground. Okay, Grant. Damn. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. But she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just shut up. I'm taking you in. For what? We've had punch-ups before, Big B. Never had to get official. Just blowing off some steam is all. Yeah. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Big B, that fucking hurt. Okay, we. Hey, are... stop! Oh, this isn't that what I want. Does. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I can growl too. Oh, good. Oh shit. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Ew. Enough. Oh. Oh. 
I'm the lapdog, huh? Here, fetch. You fucking monster! Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? If you run, it'll be worse. Trust me. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. We had something very special. Where's your brother? Fuck you! Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. 
Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the woodsman's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks for not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to punish someone. We can arrange that. <laughs> what did you do? Friend on friend. At the end. Is that you? Episode 2. Smoke in Mills. Oh, ye boy. Do do. Wait. Did you give her fancy money? No. Oh. Did you tell me the truth? No. I thought I didn't. Hmm. Uh, close to 69%. Come on. So close. Anyways. watching episode one today and I'll probably stream episode two tomorrow so get hyped I like the credit as well I like the um the Telltale games like they're very fun and interesting like seriously like if you guys haven't played any of this game you should give it a good try so yeah um game please freeze hello game there you go um well i'm gonna end the cast now so thanks everyone for watching and let's go for a raid um let's see who shall we raid today um Hmm. 
you know what? This guy just throws away. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!